Nobody who wants an electric car voted to have a dozen charging apps on their phone. Well, I have really good news for you. Electric car drivers in Sydney have one less charging app they need to use. As of today, the AGL pole mounted BYO cable EV charging network is available on ChargeFox. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism for you. So they're roaming. You can use the AGL app if you want to, or you can use the ChargeFox apps instead. Personally, I'll be uninstalling the AGL app and using the ChargeFox app if I ever need to use one of these chargers. If you don't like using a charging app at all, don't worry. Just register an RFID card with the ChargeFox app. You may have done so already, or you might be given a free charging ChargeFox RFID card from your work fleet team. You can use one of those RFID cards to start and stop a session here without needing an app at all. Perfect. Really simple. I keep one in my wallet. And speaking of fleets, this is a big game changer, I think, for AGL's charging network. I think it'll get a lot more utilization now that they're roaming on the ChargeFox network from people who wouldn't have had the AGL app on their phone in the first place and couldn't be bothered installing yet another charging app. Instead, these will be available at exactly the same price on the AGL app and the ChargeFox app, which is kind of rare. I'm hoping that ChargeFox can convince other charging networks out there to roam onto their app and RFID card use as well, but it's not guaranteed that if any other brands do that, they'll charge the same price on their native app versus their ChargeFox app as well. But for now, ChargeFox app and AGL app, exactly the same price per kilowatt hour, 38 cents. Ideally, when charging networks join, join forces and roam onto a, another bigger charging network, there should hopefully be for ease of use, for casual users, hopefully there'll be a ChargeFox sticker somewhere on here, but there's no guarantee because AGL likes its branding. We'll have to wait and see. Hopefully in the future, we have a lot fewer charging apps to use and the big charging networks roam onto each other. We'll have to wait and see. At the moment, the biggest network that has roaming partners is ChargeFox. They have NRMA and AGL also on their network visible. So that's pretty good. That's a start. And we want lots more ideally. Make it easier to charge and a lot more people will feel comfortable using an electric car. If you're wondering how much charge can I add to my car using one of these pole mounted chargers, it depends on how fast your car is able to accept the charge from here. Roughly speaking, I'd say you should be able to add between 10 and 20% of battery charge per hour of use, which is pretty handy if you're parked for a meeting or lunchtime. Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you and have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.